so because our fast pass time was so quick, four minutes for Big Thunder, we're gonna see if the same mistake happens over at Space Mountain, head over there. Maybe we, well, can you imagine a fast pass five minutes later for Space Mountain? That'd be cool. Guys, they got the old Tomorrowland signs up because uh, Season of the Force is over, I guess. So we are Tomorrowlanding it today. Well, they had covered it up with the Seasons of the Force sign. I like the old Tomorrowland signs. Nostalgia. Shows you how much I pay And then the banners right now are Tomorrowland instead of Seasons of the Force. Before they were the red and the blue banners, so dark side, light side, good side. You know? Okay guys, so we went to the Space Mountain Fast Pass and it said 9.40 return time and right now it's 7.40. So we're going to go on Star Tours because Star Tours was just another 5 minute uh, Fast Pass time, wait time. Can you imagine 5 minutes for a Fast Pass? That's ridiculous. And nobody, look at, nobody's getting Fast Passes right now. You know what I think? So we are headed over there. What do you think? I think if we don't do it today, that we should do a Star Wars shopping day to go in that store and look at all the Star Wars merchandise. I totally agree. I mean, Star Wars merchandise is cool and you like to shop, I like Star Wars merchandise. It's a win-win. You guys, 7.40. The time is now 7.40. Why wait in line when you get a Fast Pass for the exact time? All right, so it's 7.40, we got our 7.40. Or really, what time is it though? Is it 7.40 or is it 7 like 38? We're gonna see right here. 7.39. So, we got a fast pass for one minute later. Standby is actually not that long. Standby is a 20 minute wait. But why wait 20 minutes when you can wait five? We gotta wait one minute. Look, it says 7.39 right there. You gotta wait till 40. That's the, the one thing about the new system is before you can kind of go in like a few minutes early and they would let you. But now, um, you pretty much have to go at your time because it's not gonna let you go early because they're gonna scan it and the light will turn red, I bet, just in case. If it's not time. Okay, it clicked. Clicked over, 740, we're good to go. Look at this, you scan your pass. There you go, here we go. I'm green, woo! Here we go. We are in. Wait time, two minutes for a fast pass. That is awesome. Ooh, whoa, they got a new screen there. We are two out of three for the fast pass. So far, two of the rides had less than a five minute wait. Uh, Space Mountain was the only one that had about a two hour wait, which is really good for Space Mountain at 7.40 at night. But we're gonna head over to the Matterhorn to see if we can score another good uh, time over there. What if it's another five minute wait? That'd be killer. There she is, the Matterhorn. Everything's a she, except for Harold. Man, there is no line. You can see right here, there's no line for the Matterhorn right now. I wonder where the line is gonna start because usually it's way back there. Oh, there it is, there it is. Now you guys, normally we'd say this is a short line for the Matterhorn, but now with the new Fast Pass system, the line from over here is probably at least an hour long where it used to be maybe 20, 30 minutes from over here. So definitely a lot, uh, a longer wait time if you don't get the Fast Pass. Monorail Orange, Boomer, you lose. So I did learn something interesting about the Fast Pass system and why the wait times are only like five minutes, four minutes, three minutes. So before when you got a fast pass, it was based off of the time of day. So like, let's say it was seven o'clock at night and there really isn't a long line, no matter what, your fast pass would be about a half hour, 40 minutes in advance from that time. Cool. But now with the new electronic system, it's based off of time slots. So like right now we went to the Matterhorn and we, it was, it's 8.05 and the fast pass was or 8.25. So I asked a cast member, she says, yeah, so basically for this time slot, there's still fast passes available, so even though the time is really close to now, because there's fast passes available for that time slot, you uh, you can get it. So that's why when we went to Big Thunder, it was like seven o'clock, and our fast pass was for 7:05. Well, because there's still fast passes available for that time slot, where before, even though 
there might have been fast passes available for that time slot, it would have kicked you up a half hour, 40 minutes for the next fast pass time. But now it doesn't, so that's really cool. So on a slow day like this, you can really hit a ton of rides in the fast passes. I mean, we're gonna be on our third ride here in like less than an hour in Disneyland. That's crazy. How are you doing? It's a little dark in here. Oh my God, there he goes. That was bumpy. Oh, you guys. It's scary in the dark on the Matterhorn, let me tell you. That's a lot uh, scarier than when it's uh, light outside. It's not scary. You weren't scared at all? You weren't scared at all? You looked like you were scared. Well, I don't know what she looked like because she's in front of me, so I'm lying there, but uh, I could tell, I could feel the scariness from her. Look hey, at teacups. Quite an adventurous night for us, huh? Stark out. Becky's going to see if she can try to sneak into a spot for the parade. Not be rude and try to push people over, but maybe there's a spot where nobody's at. I don't think Becky's going to be successful in finding us a spot for the parade because as you can see, People are packed in everywhere. I'm, I'm pretty sure well, you are pretty successful. This is uh, beyond your control though. You know what I'm saying? This is something that you can't well, control favor, where people are sitting. Favor, favor, favor. This woman right here is stuck on Turkey Lake. She's been talking about it the whole night. My mouth is <laughs> so we're going to get her a Turkey Lake. I want a Turkey Lake and I want the corn with the chili. It's too much. It's, so it's too much. If you haven't had the corn with the chili seasoning on it, it's so good. And then I like to put You're doing the, the potty on. dance to get your turkey leg. I'm not having to go potty. I'm just You're doing the turkey leg dance. In 1955, a magical place was born. And in this marvelous kingdom, there lived many delightful friends who made our dreams come true. An enchanting place where storybook heroes and daring adventures waited around every corner.
may savor the challenge and promise of the future. Disneyland is dedicated to the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America. With the hope that it will be a source of
Gentlemen, boys and girls, due to winds at higher elevations, our fireworks spectacular, remember, dreams come true, cannot continue. All right, well, we just got done watching the fireworks show and it was canceled, so uh, we are gonna go on Pirates of the Caribbean now. What's up where? Over the restaurant. That's, that's Club 33. Yeah, that's Club 33 for dinner time, so. We're headed on, no line, pretty much. Hungry pirates lurking in every corner, waiting to board. Done than I thought we were gonna get done, that's for sure. I mean, the park was so empty. She, I was like, she wants to come for like an hour and do some walk around and stuff, but once she got her Starbucks in there, she just got going. So, we just thank you for watching this, and uh, we hope you subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with all your friends. Hey, we met some new friends today, we're happy about that, and we will catch you next time.